Hello everyone my name is Mini Sethi I hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about demographic transition theory this theory basically tell us how population of any country change from high birth and high death to lower birth and lower death as society progress from agriculture to industrialized economy this theory basically tell us how population of any country change from high birth and high death to lower birth and lower death as society progress from agriculture to industrialized economy as we know when economy growth of our country is very low we are only depend on agriculture sector level of illiteracy is very high in our economy as a result people don't have knowledge about healthcare so birth rate increase plus we don't have proper food nutrition that's why death rate also increase on the other hand when our economy start progressing we are moving from agriculture to industrialized economy level of education is improving people getting more knowledge about healthcare as a result birth rate start declining plus we are getting more food and nutrition death rate also start declining this theory basically divided into three stages one by one we discuss about each stage with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have time and y axis we have birth and death rate this br curve show birth rate and this dr curve show death rate during first stage birth rate and death rate both are very high during first stage birth rate and death rate both are very high you can see here this is first stage birth rate and death rate both are very high here because level of economic development is very low and agriculture is major source of people income that's why people are giving birth to more and more children because they required more people to work in agriculture sector and death rate also very high because lack of medical services diseases lack of food nutrition and illiteracy now we are going to talk about second stage during second stage initially birth rate is very high but slowly slowly it start declining during second stage initially birth rate is very high but slowly slowly it start declining you can see in this diagram this br is birth rate curve initially birth rate is very high but slowly slowly it start declining okay but during that stage uh, death rate is uh, declining very fast you can see here this dr is death rate curve it is declining very fast that's why overall birth rate is higher than death rate and difference between birth rate and death rate is called natural increase in population in previous stage birth rate and death rate both was very high but during that stage death rate is declining very fast why death rate is declining because now economy is growing healthcare is improving we are getting proper food and nutrition now we are going to talk about third stage in this stage, the birth rate and death rate both start declining in this stage birth rate and death rate both start declining in this diagram you can see this is third stage here you can see birth rate and death rate are very low during this stage population growth either become stable or grow very slowly now people become more urbanized they are highly educated knowledgeable and they are deliberately controlling their family size and before many years ago there was limited birth control measure was available but now there are so many birth control measure are available that's why people can easily control their family size this is all about uh, tra demographic transition theory i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care